This video compares reinforced concrete to Indomitian Sioux. Yeah, the football player. My name is Tyler Lay and I make these videos for you, my concrete freaks out there. I bet you've heard that concrete in compression is pretty strong, but it's weak in tension. We're gonna try to quantify that today and give you an insight to how reinforcing changes all of this concept. But first, let's start out in concrete in compression. Now, I'm gonna start out with some normal strength concrete, about 4,000 PSI or 27 and a half MPA. That concrete, I'm gonna make it one inch in diameter and it's gonna be a cylinder. And then I'm gonna ask the question, how much load can that cylinder hold in compression? Well, the answer is 3,000 pounds or 13.3 kilonewtons, but no one really knows what that means. But the other answer is it can hold, this one inch diameter normal strength concrete can hold a 2019 Toyota Corolla. Yeah, we can put the entire car up on a one inch diameter piece of normal strength concrete. Yeah, this is some pretty strong stuff. Now, how much load can it hold in the opposite direction? If I'm gonna pull it apart, how much load can it hold? And to answer this question, we're gonna use our friend and my favorite football player, Indomitian Sue a defensive lineman, an amazing, exciting, crazy player. When he hits you, baby, you know that you've been hit. Five-time pro bowler, right? Sue happens to weigh 300 pounds, 136 kilograms, and baby, he is a beast. But Indomitian Sue also went to the University of Nebraska, and not only did he go there, but he graduated with a degree in construction management, so the dude knows a lot about concrete. How? Oh, another reason to love him even more. We're gonna use one sou, which happens to be 300 pounds, and that is the unit of measurement that we're gonna use in the rest of this video. And if a Donovan and Sue happened to grab onto our same one inch diameter normal strength concrete, you would actually hear it um, start to crack, and then um, Sue would... Ah! fall, right? It, it wouldn't it wouldn't be good and he he wouldn't be happy. And so is concrete weak in tension? Well, it could hold a Dominican Sue. That's that's pretty strong, right? But the rule of thumb is in tension it's about 10% or 0.1 of the compressive strength, right? So for we talk about these major, major structures that have to survive earthquakes and floods and wind events, then we need them to be a little bit stronger in tension. But I'll tell you what, whenever you see concrete that's cracked somewhere, you can say it got sued, right? That's what happened. The, you know, the, the tensile strength's been exceeded. It's been sued. And, and this is exactly what I say when Sue gets a hold of Drew Brees, that dude just got sued. So what can we do about this? Well, in the world of reinforced concrete, we can add reinforcement. And that reinforcement may be a rebar, or it could be fibers, or it could be bamboo. Yep. In some places in the world, they use bamboo. Now, the most commonly used one is rebar. However, fibers are gaining steam, and they are used a lot of times in combination with rebar. Bamboo, not used as often, but it is a possibility. Now, when we embed these rebar inside concrete as we place it, it makes it have a whole new set of capabilities. So what does this reinforcement do? Well, it's gonna increase strength. How much? I'll show you. Resist cracking. How much? I'll show you. And provide something called ductility, which is critical. Now, what if we cast a one half inch diameter rebar, this is a steel rebar, inside the middle of our cylinder. This is a not a high strength rebar, normal strength rebar with 60 KSI yield strength and an ultimate of breaking strength of about 100 KSI. And I've given the MPAs on the screen. So how much load can it hold in tension? And how much cracking really happens? We're gonna go back to our same friend, Sue, a Donovan Sue. We're gonna assume it's a 12 inch long, one inch diameter cylinder with a half inch rebar in the middle. And we're gonna assume Sue's gonna grab on to the lower half. So if you have one Sue on there, what did it happen before it broke, right? You can't even see the crack that forms. It's not even noticeable. When you get 11 Sues, 11 Sues, that's like one whole defensive 
team on a football field at once. If they were all in Dominican Sioux, they would be dominant. But if all of them held from reinforced concrete, all of them were holding on to it, the crack would just barely be noticeable with your eyes. Now, if we increase that to 40 Adonimican Sioux, now I'm not sure how you do this, but if you get 40 Adonimican Sioux hanging off this one cylinder, right, the crack is large enough now to be half the thickness of your fingernail. Yeah, not very much. Now, what happens now when we start to add a little bit more Sioux on top of this, we exceed the yield strength and we're gonna see a lot more movement, a lot faster. When we get up to 46 Sioux, right, the crack's not in one more place anymore. It's likely stretched out in multiple places. But if I added all those crack sizes up, it'd be about a quarter of an inch or about half the diameter of the rebar. And once I get to 66 Sioux, yes, 66 Sioux on top, that rebar is just about to break. It will break at any second. And the crack is about 0.7 inches. That is about 40% of the diameter of the rebar. Look how awesome, look how ductile, look how much tenacity this material has. So in summary, one sue was enough to break a non-reinforced concrete. Just snapped it in half. However, if I put a rebar in the center, then things change drastically. It will take 40 sous for the crack to be half the size of a fingernail. At 66 sous, the crack will be 40% larger than the diameter of the rebar. And ladies and gentlemen, this is why reinforced concrete is so great. It increases the strength. It keeps the crack small and it provides this ductility. And in my opinion, this ductility is what's so important. When we get extreme events like earthquakes, things like this happen and the concrete can survive. It wasn't designed for this. We didn't know this was coming. It happened and it made it. It survived. Like this, a hurricane hit this building, tried to push it all the way over and look, 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 it survived and allowed people to get out of the building. It saved people's lives. If you wanna see other videos where I've shown this in more detail, I've got a beam that we've tested and you can see the cracks slowly form over time. Check out this video. Also, for those people out there that say, what, do we even need reinforcing? I made this video for you. Why don't we build like the Romans? They didn't use reinforcement. And I talk about in that video why we might be able to do that or we probably can't. Also, if you're a concrete freak out there, follow me on Instagram at concrete.tyler. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I wanna hear what you wanna know more videos about when it comes to reinforcement. I've got plenty planned. I know what I think I'm gonna cover, but I wanna know what you wanna hear about. Take care, everybody. Bye.